Welcome back to Enshrouded. Today is the exciting episode for a bunch of adventures in the Pikemead area. Pikemead's Reach. So we'll be having a boss fight over here, along with two shroud roots, a fireplace for the farmer. So, so many awesome quests in this little area. So, figure we'll make a nice big episode with it. I'm joined again by Crimson today, so hopefully the combat will be a little easier with the two of us and with that said sit back and enjoy another fun episode so yeah we're right at the top here to give you guys a reference right near the ancient bridge so the ancient bridge is here this is the very top boundary of the map currently in early access um and there's nothing inside of these castles for any of you wondering uh they're just completely empty like areas i guess maybe they'll develop them later but about halfway down in between this castle area is the red boundary where we cannot go out of. So if I go like over here, yep, you can see that we are at the very top of the map here. But we figured it would be cool to take the ancient bridge across uh, to get to the capital area for Pikemead's Reach. Because, uh, I don't know, we may as well put it to some sort of use and have fun. So we will walk across the ancient bridge on this half of the ancient bridge. <laughs> and right down there, have... yeah. You can't have a giant bridge and not walk across exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. We gotta utilize this bridge here if it's here, so you may as well. And right down there is where we did the uh, Lost in the Shroud quest last time, where there was the Shroud route and the boss to fight to get the better bow uh, from the hunter right down there. But yeah, it's kind of cool, kind of a cool spot up here on the bridge, so... We'll take this across, and then I think we can just loop around to the right of that hill right ahead, and that should bring us right out to the capital. Yeah, this, this, my, my guess is that this bridge and other things like these uh, little towers and things will be more developed with more content added as they expand the map with more biomes and things, so. Alright, and then for the pike meat stuff, this is actually uh, entirely new to me, so I have not gotten a chance to get this far in the closed beta and the demo of Enshrouded and everything. Obviously a demo we couldn't go into this area. But uh, this is going to be really, really exciting. This is completely blind and kind of a first time for uh, for Crimson Eye for exploring this. So we're going to kind of walk a lot of the way. I'm not going to be using the infinite updraft on the glider all the time. Just because I've never explored this before. And I'm really curious to kind of see what we run across on our way over. Uh, because there's just so much good loot. So many things that are easy to miss in this game if I'm just flying everywhere. So we'll do some more exploring for you all in some of these episodes with the new biomes. I can see some desert over there. I can see a bit of the town. I think we've got to go through the shroud over here. And, that makes uh, sense. Yep, that's what it looks like. What level are enemies over here? It looks like we're still at level 15 in this area. And we'll see if they go above level 15 by the capital. But wow, that guy just did a crazy amount of damage on me. So we'll Ooh, definitely have to... Yeah, <laughs> that was just one that's... hit from one of the... Uh, one of the shroud guys with the mace. That did a lot of damage there. Yeah, those guys are hard regardless of where you are, though. Yeah. Oh, hey, deadly shroud. Ooh, okay. So maybe we maybe we don't go this way. Or yeah, it's right on the side, but I Hold think on, this path this... is still okay. We can, worst case scenario, we jump off of this over here. Yep, and, glide and try to glide across over. to the town there. New location, okay. Let's see Pike's what it port. says on the map. Uh, doesn't doesn't say it. Yep, yep. Here we go. Pike's port here. Okay. So this was we, clearly a port for water. It looks like there's a there's a little deck landing right down there. What if we go over there? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Or even just right here. Uh, there's a little a little deck deck landing. Yeah, Pike Mead's Reach. Okay, I'm really excited. And look at all this. This used to be docks, boats, water. This is crazy. Pretty cool. Yeah. So let me just go Wonder. to the journal quick as well and show the, the quest here. New quest fireplace for the farmer. Yeah, so we've got these two that are in this area. And for this one... Yeah, there's no signs of the glow which the blacksmith reported. The blacksmith also mentioned a castle which seems to be nestled just behind the city. Make your way through the tower to enter the castle and see what awaits you there. Alright. You want a common crackling wand that does 32 damage? Oh, I would I would love that. We're gonna we're probably gonna get some really good loot in this area because this is kind of the farthest out we've been so far, but Oops, gift. 
Nice, alright. You've got a little grapple point up here. Yeah, this is crazy. That's the most, uh, the most deadly shroud there we've seen, I think, in one area. Big lake of it. And yeah, we are in the enshrouded section, and it said to go through the tower or whatever, and that's how we enter. Oof. So, maybe I'm gonna loop around... Maybe up through here. I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, maybe we just kind of go around the perimeter of the... It looks like this might be the wall for the city. There's clearly a bit of an entrance over here. But this whole half of it is, is uh, enshrouded, so... There was a grapple point up here somewhere that I saw. There it is. Okay. Wow. Oh, I see a thunder brood up there, and that looks like the city. Yeah, before there, there, there was this whole area on this side. So yeah, let's, uh, let's explore a little around here in the enshrouded area and see what we can find because there's, there's probably so some, much stuff over here got some be some good stuff over here yeah yeah another rusty short sword at 32 damage yeah. <laughs> that's that's insane all right yeah some hey, really um, good loot oh you're all the way over there now okay top of where we like started nice there's a little door here. Yeah, it's- it's, uh, a lot of this is, like, very dilapidated. I'm not finding a ton just yet. There is a house in the shroud over here. And, uh, nice. might see what's, uh, if anything is in here. Hey, there's a thing to read over by me. Alright, I'll make my way over there. Yeah, there's a bunch of rubble here in these houses, and I have a feeling if we, uh, if we dig through- yeah, digging through this rubble, there's a lot of secret doors and things behind it. And I think this is how we can, yeah, this is how we can access more of the build area. Yep, and here's a ladder to get up to the, the very top. I don't know if there's a chest up here or anything. Ah, there's a, there's a little passage to read up here as well. At the very top. Oh, I found the boss. Or a boss. Oh, the flying one there? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I, I think there's a bigger one, uh, based on what some people were saying in the comments, so we'll have to see. Oh, the big uh, dragon but, thingy? Yeah, I think there was that big- the big- because essentially from the journal, from the quest, we get this big blue head trophy from it. So I think that's- that's whatever boss we're going to be fighting at some point, but... Yeah, I'll take my time on the outskirts here, and we'll kind of just slowly wake our way in. The water rises. As a last, the reflection greeting me each morn on the river's surface seems so far away. I was tiny then, lowered my body, and stretched out my arms to feel the ever-pleasant flow of people passing me by. I could barely reach the bottom. My tired mirror image now rises closer each day. The water swirls with menace. Perhaps we will soon all fall into her cold embrace. Just sell your house and move, they said. Sell it to whom? All the others who wish to flee as well. <laughs> Yeah, so that was all the water there that started rising and kind of consuming this area. Uh, interesting. So that was the port. This was quite a large, quite a large city area then, uh, if that's the case. Now that's pretty cool. We've got a little crane there to kind of jump over to, hopefully. Not land in the deadly shroud. Oh, you're getting low. All right. And a return yeah. beacon. Good find. Okay. Oops. Uh-oh. <laughs> cool. That guy hits Hard. If you were to die anywhere, that would be the spot. <laughs> right yeah. next to the beacon. Alright, so you said there was another passage right up in this area. Ah, yes, I do. I see it over here. Okay. Yesterday, the river flooded. Just swept across the border and all the way to the plaza. Its mellow waves foaming at the great stairs. An eager tide, they said. A blockage must have loosened upstream. But I beg to differ. The water tastes different. It whips against our outer walls, rising during Queen Pikemead's rule. This would have never happened. Our kingdom erodes under Gormander. We've become weak. Okay, so Queen Pikemead's rule. Interesting. And there's this whole area up here with exploration and houses and things kind of off to the edge of the shroud. Alright. Lots of explosives. We've got a grapple point up there. Anything up here that's interesting? It looks like this is just how we get to the top of the castle wall that kind of is surrounding this side of the village here. This is super cool. I always love exploring stuff and it's really cool to have this all like super new to me. Uh, uh, I think I triggered the the frost the the 
the boss. The over boss? Over here. Oh, Guard. did you? Where are you? The Thunder Brute. Oh, the Thunder Brute. Okay, I'm headed up and I'll help you. Yep, I do see a Thunder Brute there. Let's, well, uh... Let's try to take care of that guy. Where did he go? Oh, maybe he de -aggroed? There he is. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that one out. Uh, let me use off. my my fire wand for this fight. Level 15 there. Yeah, he's gonna hit really hard. Just stay on top of it. Good. Excuse me. <laughs> nice. All right. Ooh, we get another one of the uh, the shields there from it. One of the wards. Nice. That's pretty good. Is it? that a? Yeah, sure. It's got six block as a legendary. Looks pretty decent. Nice. I'll go ahead and take that. Yeah, I'm gonna go back over here and explore some of the some of the outskirts in this area in a little more detail, and then we can start wait making our way uh, a little more toward that area that's out of the shroud there. Yeah, this place is interesting. This is really cool. Lots of stuff here. I wonder if there's... Yeah, there's. I feel like there's more, like, secret, uh... Entryways or things in the houses down here. Oh, this place is interesting. I feel like we'll be exploring this area for days. This is pretty crazy. This has got I found, a lot of uh, things. Lots of books. We should... Yeah, we should probably get books as well. I know we need lots of them to, to make, so... May as well just keep picking them up when I can. You have archer gloves, right? Uh, yes, I do. I, that's, okay. uh, I think that maybe is what we got last time, but... Yeah, I think, uh, the pants were the... Or maybe I actually have the full set now, yeah. I think Ooh, we got the whole charted. set for you. Ah, I see a chest, uh... There's a chest hidden over here. What do we got in here? A warrior chest? Yep, I've got that. Another shepherd's lightning. Alright. Well, I've got a warrior chest. another return beacon. Okay, that's good do much good for us. I'll start making my way over to where uh, where you are. I've got some guys over here. Ah, uh, now, yep, yeah. it says enter the castle, so that's that's definitely our next goal here. We've explored a lot of the, the outskirts. Ooh, Huckster Square. Uh, Interesting. Okay. So yeah, these are the walls here. Uh, let's see, are there anything anything up on the walls? This is actually a pretty cool... A pretty cool uh, vantage point here. You can see out over the shroud there. Uh, that's a nice. I found a shroud root. Oh, okay. That's probably one of them. Um, I'll come over there pretty soon. Just don't go too far to aggro uh, whatever's in the city just yet. There's uh, something to read over by me as well. Let's Ew, see what okay. this one has. Truth or dare? Claudia, I dare you to join me in the little mischief. We're meeting at Skimmer's Cove tonight with June and Ricky. June wants to steal her father's lantern so we can travel there at nightfall. I know how to get past the guards since last summer, so no worries. Ricky says he's going to yell real loud to rock the cove and lure the lizard creatures. Okay. I think he won't dare, though. He's a chicken. Crawl out your window at midnight if you dare to join. I left some lanterns out for you. We got snacks too, or tell Ricky you'd like him. You won't, because you're a chicken as well. <laughs> alright, interesting. There's another fell thunderbird over here. Ooh, alright. Uh, let me make my way, yeah, over to where you are. It looks like it's early morning again now, which is good. I have a little bit of better visibility. I'm just going to finish exploring this house over here. And uh, see if there's anything I'm missing in this section. Looks like that's about it. Got this and one. The yep. Shroud root. I do see the I do see the brute and the shroud root. The brute and the root. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's another another one over here. Here. Uh, I got a lot of damage taken away from that. Oh, gosh. Okay. You want to revive me if you don't die to that one? <laughs> yeah, I should be fine here. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, man. Those ones hit really hard. This is gonna be interesting. Uh oh. Yep. Uh -oh. All right. All right. You're uh -oh. good. You're good. You revived me. Uh -oh. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna hit a health potion, and uh, okay, right. I'm good. We're just going to. Yep. Um, just come up on the wall if you need to. There's yeah. obviously a return beacon not too far, but. Uh, I'm just gonna try and aggro, Mister. Yep. Oh, well, that's a good idea. I'm just gonna keep Oops. stacking fire damage on it, and uh, yeah, what it seems like is the fire damage is really great for the shroud. 
And for everything out of the shroud, uh, ice damage seems to be the go-to. Youch, okay. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, that's why it's there. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a bunch of guys up here as well. There, I got one of them with the fire there. Alright, this one's almost out. Ooh, golly. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Good work. Alright, what is that? That tardwood bow, I think, is what that one was? That's an ornate wood bow. An ornate wood bow. I think you bow. have one. Yeah, it's I do, I do think throw. I have that, yeah. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what it can Those be upgraded to. 17 power. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, we could salvage it if you want. I think I have one that's, that's, uh, close to that. Alright, another skill point. Let's do it. And it clears the shroud in this area, which is nice. Alright, cool. There we go. Alright, and then there's all these houses, essentially, along this whole row, along the outskirts. So let's see if there's- yeah, probably up where you are is, uh, the best way to enter. Is there, like, a little cross passage between these two? Doesn't look like it. There's no. one, like, right over here. Ah, there's, like, a ladder over here, and this is kind of how we get into this- Hey, this I spot. found a chest. Ooh, nice! Under some rubble over there. Yeah, you got a- you got a lockpick? Ah, uh, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I didn't think to bring some. Yeah, it might be worth trying to, uh... Trying to grab a flame altar. My wand is already almost at half, half health just from what we've done. So yeah, before we take on a boss or go too far, we should uh, we should get a flame altar, kind of make a little deposit run. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is good. Get some of the outskirts explored. So you just started mining through rubble, and there was a chest and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. Might be worth. Yeah. Might be worth just kind of digging in the rubble a little bit. Yeah. Not like, not yeah. like crazy, but definitely. Yeah, all sorts of areas. Wow, and of course all the little pots and other things that we can uh, that we can loot, grab things out of. This is a really big city. Yeah, no kidding. Really big. This definitely beats. Uh, I think what what was it? The city of uh, Glenwood's End from last time. The the town of Glenwood's End. Yeah, this is definitely a lot bigger. There's some stuff over here. A chest and something to read. We have over here. Ooh, Guard of the North gloves and a twin soul mace. Interesting. Those are both new. What does this passage have to say? The invaders have taken the square. The foot soldiers must be marching to the harbor, encroaching on the gate. No doubt. I'm blessed to have made it to my hidden attic on time. I can't see from here, but I hear them. Their lord, the guard of the north, is chanting something dark and tainted. The sky outside moves? No, it's the clouds. A misty veil with strips of colored blue light. What on earth? I'm peeking now, I see it. The cobblestones rip open like foul flesh. He's removing his gloves. By the ancients, his hands, they look frozen and dead, like preserved rotten meat. Is he raising something from below? I can't see. I have to lean a little further. Interesting. So that was like the guard of the north, so to speak. Those were the gloves, clearly, that we got in that chest. Ah, and there's like a lantern here. Lots of... Lots of rubble and so much to explore over here. This is pretty cool. Another larger, uh, house up here. Ah, yep, and it looks like this way is kind of more toward that city area. Oops. And, okay, okay, Crimson, I'm gonna head over toward where you are, then, uh, to explore that little section. Ooh, another, yeah. another chest over here. So this is definitely a great spot to farm. Farm lots of good loot so far. Gosh, more to read over here. I've got a poster. I'll take care of these little, little critter crawlies. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff around here. I feel yeah. like I'm just... Every step I take, I'm, like, missing something. Yeah, no, it was a really good idea to make an episode out of this. I think even this episode will be a slightly longer one, but I just, I feel like this place deserves to really be explored. There's just so much. Got another poster board here with some reading. Good folk, heed this warning. Skimmer's Cove crumbles and roars. King Gormander's Imperial Guard suspects an impeding collapse. 
Refrain from visiting the cove or venture forth at your own risk. Search and rescue operations cannot be performed until the war subsides. Furthermore, stay clear of the coast at night. Reports confirm strange vibrations in the water, as well as moving lights. However, King Gormander wants to reassure you personally that sightings of an aquatic beast remain unfounded. Pikemead's reach is safe as can be. Chief Higgs. Interesting. Okay. An aquatic beast. Glory rises from the depths once more. Dearest people, hear my tale. It is true. They've returned. I've seen the wisps with my own eyes down by White Wind's shores. Brighter than ever before, they've returned to bring glorious lights from the depths, hailing from the cove. Do not fret. They are our reptilian brothers, glistening. Oop, I've got another little, little guy coming up on me. Alright. Scaly backs peek out from beneath the waters, ready to carry you to safer shores. Good fortune must be upon us. Our war will end. The craze of the elixir will subside. The water and rain will clear, and the soil stop to sour. Good omens are all around. Alright, well clearly that didn't happen. The war uh, didn't end, the elixir didn't go away. It just continued to eat up the town. Alright, hey, ooh. There's a thing to read on the tower I'm on. Okay. Yeah, I've the, got a... Uh, uh, southeast corner. Right in there. Alright, let me make my way over. I also have a flame sanctum here and what looks to be the kettle for the fireplace for the farmer. Um, we have the quest here. Yeah, reach the capital and fireplace for the farmer. There we go. At Pike Mead's reach, the farmer's friend Raul must be hiding in a safe place amongst the peril. Perhaps a kettle can still be found somewhere. And that's what this looks like. There we go. Awesome. All right. So I think that was that nice. quest. And then we have another little thing to read here. Veiled in holy light, nothing is sacred. Three arrows inside Caspar's ribs, and Marcus' spine is surely splintered. We carried him to safety, fire raining down on us. We've sundered to Commander Cyrus at nightfall when the fell crept in. Alas, we are blessed beyond all. While veiled in holy light, the fell won't come near. Or perhaps our refuge is the result of Emily Frey's blessing. I pray their southern caravan route is less perilous than ours. I must set down the pen. Casper cries. He needs soothing. Raoul. Okay, so that was uh, that was her friend, and clearly he uh, brought the brought the kettle with him. So let's see what's left in the journal there. We have care, uh, cavern curiosities. Interesting. And uh, where is that located? That's uh, yep, that's right in here. So lots of little locations in this area as part of uh, that quest. Then we have fireplace for the farmer here. The kettle must be used to craft a fireplace. All right. And that's what will complete that section. And there's another return beacon there, which is good. All right, Crimson, I'm coming to the tower that you were at. There we go. Yeah, shanty shacks. Okay. Yeah, if you, if you go to the top of that tower, there's something to read. And then you can glide straight down into the building that's uh, slightly raised off the ground, but okay. also like you can you can kind of glide right into the, the the room up there. Gotcha. And there's something else to read in there too. Wow, lots of stuff over here then. Also, I got a pair of boots that is absurdly good. <laughs> what do they do? Is that is it a, a health sort of a thing or? Uh, Plus two stamina regen, plus one health regen. And wow. Then, um, the downside is minus 30 seconds in the shroud. Okay, okay. Which, well, that's I mean, pretty good, though. Uh, well, yeah, we'll have to come back for a lot of that. There's some bunch of stuff over here. Looks like a red thing to search here. Another wolf small at 47 damage. Wow, that's really good for a sword. All right, and new lore from uh, from searching that there. And then, yep, I see, uh, I see something to read right down in this house over here. Does one enjoy the romance of a stormy day? Roderick was a fool and has exposed our affair. Florian, my simple-minded husband, must die so Roderick and I can finally be at peace. I responded to the advert he obviously put in the Pike Weekly and know he plans to kill me. 
I will meet him at the chamber with a dagger in my bodice. Okay. Interesting. Some drama going on there. Ew, the worst kind. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. All right, yeah, I see you below me there. There's a whole, um, like, crypt system down here in the basements. Wow, okay. And it just keeps going down. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, I will, uh, I'll have to make my way down there. I think I see some stairs over here. And that I see was, a golden uh, chest across a bunch of deadly shrouds. Should I go for it? Wow. Um, maybe? I've got the glider up boost thing as well. So I think I can, yeah. like, do a little... There, there we go. Alright. What do we have in there? Another hunter bow? Ah, and another one of the spine splinters. That hunter bow is really good. Uh, if you wanted that one. Oops. Uh, to replace whatever bow you had. If, if you wanted another, uh, another powerful one. Wow, this place yeah. is- this place is crazy. This is so much fun. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make like a bigger, longer episode of exploration here. Uh, it'll be a little yeah. over an hour, I think, but, uh, but yeah, you guys can pause the video and kind of resume whenever you want, but for organization, uh, purposes, this just feels like a nice power adventure episode. And, uh, I'm just having lots of fun so far. This Elder Staff does 32 power. Wow, nice. Man, this- this is just in, this is insane. This is so much fun to explore. I think we'll have to come back here, like, a bunch of times just casually to, like, pick through it a bunch. Because this is, uh, this clearly that got and, some awesome power stuff. power level. Oh my yes, god. Yes, definitely. Getting lots of skill points from this. This is great. This just goes out to another pathway over toward, like, the savannah or desert area in that area. So this is, like, the other side of the town, the other corner where we're at right now. And this is, like, an entry. So this is kind of, like, the passage to the desert area over there. And, uh, and then it looks like the, uh, the Ooh. city is probably, yeah, probably back a, close to where you are. There's a flame shrine and a bunch of, and a chest up here. Ooh, okay. I'll have to, uh, make it up there. Prayer of Ooh, the yeah. Flame Scroll. Nice, okay. Yeah, this is cool. There's probably- there's a lot of stuff to loot around this one as well. Hey, I think... I think this might have been the one. But I think there might be a, a passage in here. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, uh, no, maybe I, I already the, read that one. I see a shroud route right over there. It's, um, there's- there's a passage over... Imperial Gardens. Ooh. Yep, there's a passage right here. This might be what you were seeing from before. No, that's a different one. Okay. Well, I'll read this one too. But yeah, there's another shroud route so we can get another uh, another skill point over here. Nice. And then, uh, and then yeah, there's a passage right in this section here. So what does this oh. one have to say? Ancients, help us. They broke through. Soldiers of the Northern Guard. They ravaged it all. The brittle walls were torn apart. Gate was lowered. They locked us out. We cannot run. Rats in a cage. Their fists clash against the iron. I lower my hands, fold my palms, and pray. Dear ancients, please, anyone, open the gates. Alright, so that was kind of the downfall of the town there. Does this one have a thunder brute? Doesn't look like it. Just a bunch of these oh, guys. This, that, this guy is gonna hurt yep, a lot. That one, that one's the, the one that hits really hard. There's one right behind right me as well. Yep. Oh. Quite a few of them. We've got some got some good fighting on our hands today. Haha, <laughs> nice. I love that jump attack. That was a good showcase of that. Oops. Alright, and... Yep, I'm Go. just gonna keep uh, firing them from a little bit of a distance. At least these guys, uh, when they do attack, they are they can be blocked fairly easily. Yes, that is true. We can at least block them with a shield there. Alright, and there we go. Another skill point from that. There's another Ooh, guy there's over a, here. There's a legendary wolf's snarl longbow in here. Ooh, what does it, uh, it start out at? 24 power. Yeah, actually. Uh, with a legendary, I can upgrade that pretty far. Let me come over to- that's in this- this silver chest up here. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's definitely a good find. Wow. 
This is some of the best loot we've found so far. This is crazy cool. I definitely want to come back for the armor. Definitely, yeah, to keep farming the chests to get full armor sets and things. Guard of the North stuff or other things. And this is pretty incredible. Got some of the breakthrough there. Yeah, that's true. Using pickaxes or axes are quicker to break through stuff than, uh, than weapons in that case. So hey, we've got the we, wall. Yeah. Can we, like, go back and repair? Yeah, let's soon? do, let's do a repair run. Uh, let me just find a good spot for a flame altar, possibly, and then, yeah, we can, uh, we can head back. I was kind of wanting to make it, like, to the gates of the... Like, it's saying enter the castle, which it looks like is about over there. So it looks like, like, right here might be a good spot for a flame altar. Or possibly, like, right over here. I don't know. These gates don't open. It would um, be maybe on the tower on the yeah, corner of Yeah, put it, town. like, a little ways away so it's not going to hinder uh, stuff respawning just yet. But, yeah, right on that corner out here. This would like, be... way over in the, the southeast. Yep. This would be a good spot, so sure. Let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll uh, we'll come back here. Well, we are back now. It is daytime. Our stuff is repaired, and it looks like we are headed this way, over toward the castle. And yeah, we do have some houses on the outskirts here. Some more of them that it doesn't look like we've explored just yet. So we'll give these a a quick run through here and see if there's anything interesting. And yeah, location is above right there, so that's gotta be the castle, that big stone... That big stone area. I suppose, uh, if you're ready, we could... We could step foot in there if there's nothing to read right out here on the outskirts. It looks like... Looks like nothing yet, so... There's gates over here, which we cannot open, so that tells me that maybe... Maybe we use these grappling points to get into the castle. There's a door over hey, here, baby. and yep, there's a little- oh, there's a chest over there. The pike, okay. Location reached, a flask of fell and a little chain healing, okay. Quest updated, reach the capital, okay. Defeat the castle beast. Alright, that is our new task then. We do have a doorway- oh yeah, uh, Crimson, there's some stairs over here in the side of this doorway to put us at the top of the little castle. Uh, wall or tower area over here. And then we come up here, there's a return beacon, so be sure that that's activated for you. Uh, right on the top of the wall here. Another little chest with a little shroud survival flask. Alright. Is this, uh, is this why we're supposed to find the beast? I bet he breaks through those opposite doors. Or jumps down from the, the hole up there. Do we want to just, like, go into these little towers or something first? I- I don't know what we want to do. Do we um, want to go straight down there? Maybe we do. Honestly, it looks like there's not a whole lot more to explore than now that we're up here. Yeah, Maybe just like the tops of towers, and... maybe, but let's, uh, let's see what happens. I, I feel like it's gonna- oh, yep. Hey, hold it. Yep, there it is. Oh, man. Oh, I- oh, I, I gotta- oh. I gotta drop down with you. Yep. Holy- okay. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> use the pillars as cover. All right, all right, sounds good. You gotta, you gotta use the pillars as cover here. Ouch! Oh my gosh, two hundred! Wow, this guy has an area of effect that's just crazy. Oh, he smashes the pillars down. <laughs> oh, well, oh man! <laughs> I guess get good. Wow, that is that is insane. Okay, yes. Get good at, uh, that's, that's uh, about the best we can do right now. <laughs> oh, okay, and, uh, I'm almo almost dead, almost dead. Health potion there, okay. Maybe, uh, maybe the staff would be good. Actually, you know what, he probably takes a lot of damage from the bow. Yep, doesn't, doesn't like the bow a ton. Okay. Wow, he has so much health, though, this is crazy. So it looks like when he sucks that blue orb in, that's the time to start hitting him with the sword, like you were doing. Um, and then when he's done with that... Oh, now he's shooting up the little things. Okay, so I gotta kind of uh, learn his attack pattern there. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna respawn uh -oh. out, at the, out at the return beacon. And Do it. I'll, I'll come join in, because uh, having you in that area will keep his health at the same... At the same thing. Yeah, at least it's nice that we have return beacons and stuff, but... 
Not having a rested buff is gonna make this a little tough. Right now, right now is the time to hit him. Alright. Yep. Oops. And he's gonna start- he's gonna go up and shoot all the little- yep, the tail swing, and now he's gonna shoot all the little explosives. Yep, oh, right- oh, not quite, it's okay. Fire breath. Alright, yep. the laser beam. And now- now are the explosives. Alright. Yeah. Good. Oh, we're getting it. We're I getting was, it. I was climbing up his tail. That, that was, was crazy. You can actually stand on him and do the whole. Oh, we got a roll. Okay, good, good. We're getting there. All right, and I'm about dead. I got to get out of the way of his tail. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Yeah. Get a couple shots in. All right, this is good. Oh, there's bugs. Yep. Uh, I think yep. I got them. Yeah, the bow, the bow works really, really well on this. The fire wand also, uh, does a bit of damage, it looks like. But definitely not as good as the bow. The bow seems to be the way to do this. And the oh, sword, you're doing a lot of hurt. damage on some of the hits that you're doing as well. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, it was good to spec into the ranger a little bit there. Man, this is quite the fight. A little harder than a, a Thunder Brute, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. It's annoying that his tail spin hits you even when you're underneath him. Yeah, yeah. But... It does lose just a massive area, yeah. Alright, we're getting it, we're getting it. This guy reminds me of, uh, Nergiganti from, uh, Monster Hunter. Oh! Oh gosh, alright, you're low there. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I'm out of stamina. So I gotta, uh, I gotta just kinda... ...keep rolling here. If I could get a spot where I could eat a little bit of honey or something, that'd be ideal. The good Gosh. news is, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep. Okay, you're still alive. I'm, I'm still okay. alive. I'm good. Yep. I'll stay down in the arena here. Oh gosh. Okay. Another health potion here. And a couple arrows. We got this. We got this. He's so close. Nice. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yep. We got Let's it. go. Nice. All right. Wow. And what do we have on here? We've got three shroud uh -oh. cores. We have the head. We have some runes. We have a commander's ring, which is some Ooh. mana and health. And we have key to the pike, which opens the doors there. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess, is that what we have to use on the, on these then? Yeah, key to the pike. So, uh, you, you have the key, so try to, try to use it there. It, hold on, there's guys. Some more of the, oh yeah, there's one on the floor there. They're, they're bugged <laughs> out. They're, they're bugged out, no, no, uh, no pun oh, yeah. intended. <laughs> no, every single pun intended. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let me grab my gravestone and then we can, uh, then we can head into the pike. Oh, wait, is Rooms. that mine or Maybe yours? Maybe this was yours, actually. I think we got each other's. That's okay. Uh, because yeah. it's just, uh, it's just all the random stuff that we'll deposit. Yeah, this little guy's just stuck in the floor. Alright. So what do we have in here, other than a bunch of bugged bugs? <laughs> oh, they are, they are all kind of bugged out. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay. Ooh, what is yeah, that? Oh, there. Ooh, a great mana potion. Alright. Anything in here? We should be- this was, uh, clearly the throne room up here. There's a thing up here. Ooh. Yep. Ooh, chest. I like those. Nice. What do we have in that one? 
Ooh, wizard pants. Wizard I pants. want that sword. <laughs> That's a white wolf sword. Nice. What that does that one nice. do? Does 32 damage as an epic. Ooh, that's really good, yeah. Nice, all right. Anything else? I feel like there's so many towers and stuff in here that, uh... That there's something we gotta be missing. If there was a whole key to get in this room, right? Ah, yep. Over here. We've got a, we've got a restore beacon there. Ooh, another key to the pike here. Uh, do you still have it, or was it used up from before? I guess you still no, have it. just, uh... Just an item. Nice, okay. Oops. Alright, so this is like the outskirts there. Do we have a little... Ah, yeah, there's there's grappling points. One up there. There's also that a staircase. That is a lot of deep shroud. Yeah, there's... There's a very, very, very ruined staircase up in here. Uh, I don't know if I can... I don't even know if I can parkour this one. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Ooh, this new sword gives a little bit of light, too. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's good. Oops. It looks like you got in, uh, you got in kind of on the other side there. I'm over on this section. There's two that doors was... here. Yep, there you are. Okay. That was very weird. Ah, another All key right. to the pike required to the room that I'm in right now. Eh. Okay. Ooh, there's a, ooh, this one, too. All right, maybe that'll uh, put you. Yep, there you go. Now you went into the room that I'm in, and then there's a door down here. That, I got a uh, flail the key. and a card of oak. Nice. Okay. Yeah, right, right back there. Too bad it doesn't drop a key for every player. Oh, that's true. Yeah, kind of like the no, Valheim boss just, does, but just lots of shroud. I just went there. up there. That's okay. Is there anywhere over there that's higher? In the middle here, it looks like we have... I don't know. There'll be some more secrets. That area was already opened previously. And now we're kind of above. It looks like this might be sort of the end. I do see some... Oh, there's some stairs over here. And another uh, key to the pike required up here. Ooh. More shroud there little walkway. Oh, we have stairs in that within that tower as well. Little grappling point up there. Oh, this place is this place is quite big. Okay. We're enshrouded up here, so I'm wondering if there's anything Ah, there's something little to climb there, but that looks like Oh, yep. Yeah, there's a scroll and a chest right down here. What's in that one? Guard helmet and an infernal wand. Interesting. And something to read there. Setting sail. Whenever he fled, if at all, Gormander is alone or with another courtesan. The city is drenched. They've crushed our wall early morn and now coat our town with thick, suffocating nebula-colored like ostrich feathers. I cower here alone for the first time in years, like a little girl. My heart flutters like a thrashing caged canary. I should have run away and chartered a ship. Seized it. I can fence and read a map. After all, maybe it's not too late. I could still wake up to ocean blues and feel salt on my skin. See mermaids and sing at all the docks, loudly, finally. I want to end in a storm, in a blaze, and not a lonely little tower. Don't laugh at me, I feel so small. Okay. So that was that thing, and then yeah, we've got the... Got a new Guard of the North Helmet. So we have Guard of the North Gloves, Guard of the North Helmet. And I'm guessing with these chests is kind of where we farm the rest of that set here. But that's pretty cool. I feel like there's going to be more though like on these towers. Yeah, there's a door over here uh, that also requires the key. Hey, why, why bother with a key when you can just fly to the top? <laughs> oh, you got the little updraft thingy. You want to come down here yeah. and unlock this then? I didn't get the, I didn't fly up there. Cool, yeah, there's this door, and I'm, I reckon that probably has the staircase that uh, that goes up to the top there. Yeah, ooh, and it's got one that goes down. It looks like it's kind of full with rubble and some other things here, too. There's a chest on the outside with a couple copper arrows. There's nothing yeah. too special here. A little I chest. I looted a regular chest at the top. Okay. There's just a big, big watchtower that's out of the shroud. 
Now, but yeah, right. ooh, what a this, this is a cool uh, a cool glider platform. That's a beautiful view of the city and everything too from up here. Yeah, so another thing we can do here quick before we head back is to uh, finish the other quests in this area. We had a cavern uh, curiosities quest here, which was right in here. This one, uh, yeah, Skimmer's Cove, and then this one also, a Scattered Legacy. So I'm going to go to a Scattered Legacy in Crimson. If you open your map, you should see those two, and if you don't... Uh, yeah, there's actually two that say a scattered legacy, so you might want to go to both of them. But let's see what the first one over here uh, implies. If uh, if it's uh, anything here. Uh, I do not appear to have it. Okay, okay. It's probably from reading all those uh, all those journals. So there's a there's a guy up here. Ooh. All right. Waypoint reached. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, look around of something. A scattered legacy. So I wonder what this, uh, this is kind of where we started today's adventure. I'm not sure. It's saying location below. So maybe we have to go down there. A lot of stuff down here. Deadly shroud. Lots of little bugs. Ooh, and a chest, a little chest down here. What have we got in there? Guard of the North Pants! Nice! And another Tardwood Bow. So we're actually racking up on that set of armor. Uh, so what does this one say here? We're locked out. Bastards closed the gates to the inner city. Just left us poor to rot and die. It won't help. Bargoth's army will get them. I hope they burn. Let Gormander taste copper and steel. I don't go down easy. I'm hidden, but still have that blasted sickness from last winter. If my body fails me now, if I sneeze, if I yap, with the Northlings sauntering round outside, these sewers will be my tomb. I'm shivering. It's not my cold flashes. Something is off. There's... there's wind in here. No, there's breathing in here. And sharp like blade. Can't see where or what it's in me. In my throat, so cold. It's acid. It's worse. Worse than the sewer. Help. Okay. Uh interesting. Did that uh did that show a location on the map then of, of uh whatever we were at? Looks like it did. We've got another scattered legacy uh pointing us to a slightly different direction out here, so it looks like it's kind of Exactly what it's saying there. A scattered legacy. We just have to kind of go to each one at a time. And then it will direct us to another one. So yeah, I'll just create a map marker on the other scattered legacy location. Then we've got another one down here. And then we'll head up to the uh, Skimmer's Cove section up there. Let's see. Ooh, and we actually have a poster board down here in the uh, in the gardens. Maybe this is the other uh, the other legacy thing, or maybe that's something separate. King Gormander's latest addition to Pike Mead's Reach is, in my opinion, a disgrace, and the pathetic attempt of a man with timbered teeth to reach his mother's levels of adoration. It's a narrative more shallow than White Wind's waters. Last summer, our lord's attempt to rename the Imperial Gardens to Gormander's Gardens was foiled by civil unrest. Instead, we've since been blessed with a statue of his likeness. The statue's gaze is as stiff and paralyzed as our ruler's disposition to the brewing troubles in the north. The grandest thing about Gormander, next to his treasury, is his wooden overbite. Ramon Jones, editor of the Pike Weekly. Okay, and yep, that was the statue right there. <laughs> hey, come read this. This is funny. Oh, yeah, the little, uh, is there, yep, yeah, something on the floor there. I totally didn't even notice that the first time I came across the statue here. Gormander watches over us. King Gormander, son of glorious Pikemead, grand patron of the Revelwood and Springlands, watches over all. His vigilant gaze unites us as one, shields us from calamity, and ushers us to a new age of prosperity. <laughs> and obviously did not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we've got a we've got the other marker uh, 
for that quest, like right over here, uh, is what it's showing. Ah, here we go. This is clearly a new area. We've got some, uh, some of these undead guys, and I'm guessing we'll probably end up finding more. Oh yeah, there's a whole, uh, whole tomb area over here. Wow, we didn't even find this, uh, before. Uh, doing the boss, which is crazy just how much there is. So what's it saying now on here? We've got Gormander's Imperial Gardens. We've got something over there, and a Scattered Legacy is where we're at right now. Which is, uh, mm. it's saying that it's, like, right here, which- so maybe it's inside this- this building? Oh yeah, there's definitely something down here. What do we have? Just a bunch of tombs over here. Nothing inside of them, though. Ooh, was there a door? Yep, yeah, there was a door down here. Okay, Wait, yep. Down there? There's, uh, there's a little opening in that house right, right in the center here. And, uh, yep, there's some stuff in here. Guard of the North chest plate! Look at that! And Wolf's Claw. So here's the Guard of the North Ooh. armor set that we're kind of getting, and then another passage over here. We return to Earth today. Never thought I'd see a war. Nay. A live invasion. In the last of my tired days, I've buried so many. I confess, this comforts me. Guiding people to their final voyage. So many last goodbyes. Today comes mine. The northern army is past the gates. We can't seek respite in the castle. Gormander locked all the doors. Lowered all gates. It will not stop the horde. They will find their way. Ancients preserve us. The shroud is seeping inside. Something drips from above. If anyone finds this, if anyone is left, I want to be buried next to my wife and son under the old oak. Leave the headstone blank. I have nothing left to say. Okay, interesting. Anything over here in the... any of these little crypt areas? Can so I have much. The, the Guard of the North stuff? Yeah, yeah. And we'll, we should try to farm some of that again. I've got a bunch of it back at the house from when I did the material, uh, deposit or whatever. Anything in here? Just another elder staff. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's the, uh, here's the chest plate. Uh, this'll be... it doesn't... oh yeah, it does actually have a lot of, uh, health and some physical and magical resistance there for the chest plate. That might help you with the, uh, the tanky stuff. And then, uh, yeah. the helmet here as well. Uh, a lot of minus time in the shroud, but, uh, but if you get some inner fires going, or some shroud potions, that should be good. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> now, now I just need a red sword. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So that part is now there. We've got another little Gormander's Imperial Gardens here that's, uh, it's showing up, so let's go over there. We're getting like a whole little mini quest system within the uh, within the area over here. What was it over here? Waypoint reached. Was there something? I already read that. I don't Is think it, we uh... found the thing that we were supposed to over here. Okay, so there's something else. Something else over here that we've missed. Ah, I found it. You found something? It w it was by the statue. It was buried. Nice. All right. Good work. Another forest longbow. And there we go. Quest complete. Gormander's uh, gardens there. Cool. Wow. <laughs> this, this is getting fun. Lots of hidden things. And then, yeah, another scattered legacy uh, over down here. So, yeah, it's saying that last uh, scattered legacy is above. So... Maybe we have to, uh, yeah, probably have to climb this tower for something up here. Ooh, yep, I do see a little passage up there. If there's- oh yeah, nice. There's that grappling hook over here, and it looks like that's how we get to it. Oh, there's that. There's, uh, there's something on the floor here, though. This is, uh, this is how we get down, because I thought I saw something down there. Oops. I guess the pickaxe is better. Unless there's a oh. different way to get down there. There was nothing at the top of the tower, right? I didn't check. You were didn't like, there's a thing yet. here. Yeah, there so. is something down there. There is a chest up here. 
with some more Guard of the North boots, which we already have, but uh, but here you go to complete the set. Uh, here's oh, I've got, the. I've got Guard of the North boots. You already. do have? Do you have the pants? No. All right, here you go. Here's the Guard of the North pants there, and that should yeah, be just... the full set, aside from gauntlets, maybe. Is that all you're missing? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm missing. Okay, nice. Oops. Right, so there was a thing down there. You yeah, say. like right up. It almost looks like it's wanting us like we need double jump to access this unless there's like a... Oh. Well, yeah, unless there's some sort of external grapple point or uh, or we could try to bomb our way through the, through the floor up there. So I'll just get up on here. And then get up here and then... There we go. Perfect. And here we go. City wall blocks. The old walls were impenetrable in Pikemead's time. Now they crumble. Every watch I see the smoke come closer. The mistral weighs heavy with a pungent sweetness. Rot and decay. They'll tear through the outer wall soon enough. Even the mining rift due east cannot yield enough stone to restore the Imperial Aegis before the brewing siege. And, uh, did we get some more from that? Yeah, fortification, and we get the city wall block from that, so where is that on the map? That's up up in this area, so maybe we'll do that uh, next time, possibly, but that's cool. That was definitely worth uh, going to these places to unlock a new block there. And then, now we just have, it looks like, if I go to journal, we've got the cavern curiosities. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set that as a little, uh, a little thing and we can head in that direction which looks to be off off over to this side yeah it looks like this uh cavern curiosity section is basically where we started uh on this little hill this is where we jumped in uh at we landed on that little dock and the cavern is like right up over here saying location above so i'm not sure if we can Ooh, there's a chest over here Skimmer's Cove. Okay, so maybe this is, uh... Maybe this is some of the section. Lockpick. Okay. Nightwind Bow. Quest complete. Cavern Curiosities. Okay, so it just, uh, gave us another bow. Which, uh, I already had one of, but yeah, this was the, uh, this was the cavern. And with all this rubble here as well, uh, who knows, but if we, like, dig in here, maybe, uh, the Cavern of Curiosities is, uh, maybe there's other things hidden in here. But either way, this is a good spot to farm rubble, uh, for- for needing that. So yeah, with that, I do think that sums up a lot of this pike meat area, at least for now. We've got a few new little locations. Fisher's Tail, we've got the fortification that will give us the city wall blocks. We've got the other obelisk research down here, Southern Caravan. So some of the stuff we're starting to unlock in this area. So maybe in the next episode, we'll kind of start setting foot into, uh, if I set that as a waypoint, yeah, off in that direction. So getting kind of close to the desert area there, which will be super exciting. But with that said, man, what a bunch of fun adventures. I think I'm going to go back to the house and we'll finish up, see if the uh, NPCs have anything to say. And then also uh, craft the fireplace for the farmer. We can drop off the kettle there so that that quest can be finished. So yeah, the farmer's definitely got something to say here. Let's kettle found. Here we go. Praise the ancients. You've got my kettle. How is Raul? Oh, their time ran out as mine stood still. So we really are the last. How cold. Let's light a fire in their honor. Crafting a fireplace with that kettle will warm us right up. All right, so craft, and it looks like right here, the fireplace with the kettle, flintstone, stone, metal scraps. So let's go ahead and craft oh, that. Everybody and has stuff to say. Everybody's got stuff to say. Oh yeah, they definitely do. So I'm going to pick up this and I wanted to replace this fire with the kettle for the, the farmer here. I think that would just look really nice. So let's see, let's put it like right. Can I do like a little bit of a finer rotate? Maybe something like that there. That looks nice. That's pretty good. There we go. Quest complete. So, uh, we can oh. go ahead and click on that and craft. Oh, look at that! That's how we can, uh, we can grill stuff. That's what we were wondering about before. Oh, so we don't have to... The, yeah, we don't have to cook the, stuff over a like fire. Sitting thing. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. And that looks really nice right there. Alright, so what does the Wait. carpenter have to say here? 
Hmm. Gotta get masonry tools. Wanna hear a joke? Carpenter without masonry tools. That's it. That's the joke. I'm a farce. A poser. I need proper tools, but the blacksmith won't lend me his. Go figure. I know where to get some masonry tools, though does the research site at Pillars of Creation ring a bell? Ooh, okay. Stone fence and nine more at the at the carpenter here. Wow, and uh let's see, where were where were those here? Probably in fences if I go if I go there. Yeah, stone fence. But we need the uh masonry tools here. And there we go, quest updated, finding masonry tools. So again, that'll be another one over here. And if we uh, show that on map, that's all the way down here at the Pillar of Creation is what it looked like. So another great one. And the blacksmith has something to say. Wow. Ooh, a strange letter. Okay, Flameborn, some time ago, a curious thing happened. I received a note. Take a look. From Regan, courtesy of the Conways. I've never met a Regan, but I know the Conways. Couriers from the east. They must have traveled through the trade outpost, blazing rock to deliver the message. Can you investigate? All right, and a new location there. And Hearts of Iron. You've got what it takes, Flameborn. I'll let you in on something. The best iron ore can be gathered at Ridgeback Mine, deep below the shroud. Don't fret. With a high enough shroud passage level, it shouldn't stop you. Okay there. Another quest from the blacksmith here. So we have blacksmith's request here. Interesting. And for that one, we needed a higher passage level. And I think we can do that here pretty soon because uh You've got the trophy. Yeah, I think that exactly. was the last thing we need. For another strengthening of the flame, all we needed yet yeah, was the trophy there, and we have everything else. So uh we can go ahead and strengthen that flame too for a higher passage level here. We just need some indigo, some copper ore, and some goo, which I could go ahead and make uh here quick. Alright, so I should have everything now to upgrade or strengthen the flame. Yep, we've got the goo, indigo, everything we need. So I'll go ahead and strengthen it there. Flame Altar is now level 4. And uh, that now allows us to have a whole nother uh, altar. So we now have 7 instead of 6, which will be really cool. And uh, with that upgrade, that should allow us to reach all of the future stuff for all the quests in here. So I'm definitely super excited to continue. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed the adventures today. We definitely covered a whole bunch, so it's definitely a longer episode, but a lot of fun. And with that said, a huge shout out to all of my channel members and supporters. Be sure to join the Discord server through the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.